Manchester City were the visitors to Highbury in late October 2000, hoping to overcome a dreadful record against Arsenal. City fans had to cast their minds back to December 1991 for their last league victory over Arsenal, and still further for their last win at Highbury, which had come in 1975. The Gunners were unbeaten in their last 14 games in all competitions and were second in the league, while City had lost just once in seven matches and were tenth. Arsenal skipper Tony Adams was back in the starting lineup after a two-week absence through injury. Arsene Wenger made three other changes from the team that had beaten West Ham in their last league game. In came Ashley Cole, Thierry Henry, and in goal, John Lukic, making his first start of the season as a deputy for the injured David Seaman. There was a City debut for Laurent Chave, who'd signed from Newcastle earlier that week. Joe Royal made two changes to the City team that had beaten Southampton in their last match. At the back, Richard Dunn was dropped to accommodate Chave. Sean Gota replaced the injured Paolo Wanchop, while Paul Dickov made his first return to Highbury since leaving Arsenal in 1996. Rob Stiles was the referee for this one. Arsenal hot favourites to beat Manchester City once again. Your match commentator is John Champion. It is nine years since Manchester City last defeated Arsenal in a league match and they come here very much as underdogs despite winning their last two games both 2-0 against Bradford and then most recently at Southampton coming to Highbury though is an altogether tougher proposition particularly with Arsenal in this sort of mood unbeaten in 14 games they've not lost since the opening day and here's Thierry Henry taking on the new man, Chave, and pushing him. It's a free kick to Manchester City. Arsene Wenger in his fifth season in his role as Arsenal's manager, and he's made such a difference to the club. Chave. Now Alfie Haaland. Possibilities here. And Paul Dickov. Couldn't do anything with the ball in. Manchester City lining up with five strung across the midfield. Dickov occupying a role wide on the right. Tiato on the left. Beacons, Whitley and Haaland through the middle. And here's Parler for Arsenal. Oh, and what a chance for Thierry Henry. Joe Royal says that Manchester City just have to concentrate and stick to their task. But he acknowledges that the individual flair of Arsenal could still undo his team. Come on, Arsenal! Pires. Jockey and Chave. And creating some sort of angle. Ball and gets it clear. Tiato. Feisty Australian. Nearly through to Gota. Now Gota does have it. It's Dickov, the former Arsenal junior. And Jeff Whitley very nearly finding the upper tier of the North Bank stand. David Bernstein, the chairman on the right there alongside Joe Royal. the horse they call him back in his native Ukraine and his ability just to keep running and running and running Perez for Arsenal Henri is outside him back with Perez to strike Pushed away by Nicky Weaver. Could be an opportunity for this highly rated young goalkeeper to excel. As he's sure to be busy this afternoon. Still only 21. Corner taking duty entrusted to Ashley Cole. The 19 year old. Catch for Weaver. 
Manchester City's record in the English Premier League so far this season. Most of the games watched by superfan Noel Gallagher. Played 10, won four, drawn two and lost four. Recent form has been more encouraging. Inevitably, it was going to take a while for them to settle after back-to-back -back promotions via the Division Two playoffs and then runners-up in Division One last season. Henri, and still saved by the legs of Weaver. Almost too deliberate by the French striker. Had several opportunities to strike it. And passed up on the first couple. Left Spencer Pryor dizzy. Parler. Henri Luzhny. In slides Teatro. Player that wears his heart on his sleeve, Danny Teatro. Luzhny. Grimondi. Oh, and Teatro. Well, it was silly, really. Pushing over Luzhny. It was unnecessary. And Rob Styles has gone straight to his pocket to produce a yellow card. <laughs> Too competitive on occasions, Danny Tieto. His disciplinary record tells that tale. Bird camp. third season as manager, promoted in his first two. Managed Oldham and Everton, of course, with great distinction. Jeff Whitley. Sean Gota. Beacons and City generally doing what their manager asked them to do, which is to stick to their task, their individual tasks, to maintain a, a team ethic and to frustrate Arsenal for as long as possible. Then came Cole with Dickov, and it's a Manchester City throw. Dickov, who played quite a few games in the Arsenal first team before setting off on his travels. Another throw on by Dickov. Spencer Pryor. And just waiting for Steve Howey to arrive for hurling this long. Holland. And away by Grimondi. Now, Henri, so much pace. Down he goes under the challenge of Teato, who's already been cautioned. And Manchester City here are going to be reduced to ten men. It's a second yellow card for the Australian Danny Tiato, and with a minute to play in this first half plus stoppage time Manchester City's good work has been undone by the loss of a player Joe Royal's team talk was all about discipline and concentration the pace of Henri was just too much for Manchester City to cope with. And now they will be desperate to get through to half-time, level at 0-0. And then they can regroup. Bergkamp, Ashley Cole! Marks his first home start with a goal. <laughs> 
six weeks short of his 20th birthday. The Londoner boring Stepney. And rated so highly for his defensive qualities. Shows an attacking instinct too. Jeff Whitley. Gota. How sick must Manchester City feel? On the whole, they performed so well, so doggedly in this first period. Here's Henri. There's Bergkamp ahead of him. Now Gerard Beacons. Henri. Teasing Pryor. Good defending by Spencer Pratt. Spinner, as his teammates call him. Jungberg. Gilles Grimondi. Ray Parler. Oh, just wide. And a yard or so. Be harsh indeed for City to go in two down. Charve. The referee has the whistle poised. Any second now. They blow for half time. Indeed, there is the whistle. And Arsenal head into the dressing room with a lead given them by Ashley Cole's driven ball. Just a matter of moments before half time. City, a man and a goal down. Keown looking to the shorts of Gota. Here's Holland. Forced wide by Adams. As the rain sweeps across Highbury. It's quite an unpleasant afternoon now. Prior trying to dry the ball. Oh, very nearly connected with Howie, amongst others. Jeff Whitley plays it off Lusney for a corner. Sean Gota was in there. Bounced very awkwardly. And for once, Arsenal's defence looked anything but secure. Last league win on this ground it was way back in 1975. Now they're battling for parity as Holland rises. But it's a huge ask with only ten men. Twice. And the 
flags for the referee blue when no advantage was going to accrue. Camp. There's Pryor who missed it. Ashley Cole and Vieira. Well, it's pretty much one way now. And he hit that with some venom, Patrick Vieira. A good save by Nicky Weaver. More comfortably in front. Dickoff still trying to trouble them. Vieira, Bergkamp, is Henri. Slip through for Sylvain Wiltor! It's three! Sent on as a substitute. Sent on his way by a sumptuous pass from Thierry Henry. And the finish through the legs of a stranded goalkeeper. First goal in eight games for Sylvain Wiltor. Turning into a very good week for Arsenal. Of course, beat Sparta Prague 4 2 here in the Champions League on Tuesday already assured before that game of their place in the next phase and with a 100% record here at Highbury this season played 8, won 8 and one feels a little for Manchester City now really they've been undone by the loss to a red card of Danny Tiato hard up with 11 Paul Ritchie. It's emerged with it. Now Mark Kennedy. Beacons. Holland. Dickov. It's better possession football from City, but will there be an end product? Jeff Whitley. No, Bergkamp won it back. And now it's Wiltor for Arsenal. Henri. Wiltor takes the defender away. Now Wiltor has it. And the parry to Henri. Who fails to convert a chance. That was just begging him to score. A bit of luck on City's side. As they tire more and more, it will be even more difficult for them to cope with Henri's pace. Vikings. 18 months ago, City were playing in the second division. Dickov. Kennedy. Promising moment for Manchester City, which didn't bear fruit. Henri. Stickings of showboating. Mind you, it's the weather for boats today. Will Tord. Jungberg, Grimondi, Jungberg again, Wiltor, and he's beaten prior. Here's Henri. It was only a matter of time. Before he found his way onto the score sheet. The surprise being it's taken until eight minutes from time for the moment to arrive. The 
control of the first touch set up the chance for the shot. Holland. It's comfortable for the goalkeeper, John Lukic. Lukic will be 40 in December. Outside Wiltor. Becoming a very satisfactory afternoon for Arsenal. Six wins, three draws, just one defeat in their Premier League season so far. That loss at Sunderland on the opening day, long since forgotten. Henri. Will tour, and Henri wants the return. And he's got it, and it is five. is what Arsenal are all about, it would be one something like that. Slick, speedy and skillful. And if you're Manchester City at this late juncture, unstoppable. The last time that Arsenal scored five against Manchester City was here in 1961. That must have been a thriller that day, they won 5-4. And as the rain gets harder, it becomes harder for Manchester City to bear the fact that there are still a few minutes to play. They've gone past the stage of being well beaten. The ironic cries of boring, boring Arsenal ring out from the old stands here. football last four seasons third place the title twice runners up last season though it wasn't a great campaign they finished second but they suffered nine defeats and finished 18 points behind Manchester United this time they're determined to do much much better nearly round for Jungberg Dixon, Will Tor, Jungberg, and again. Well, six would be desperately cruel on City. It stays like this, despite the fact that Arsenal once beat Manchester City 7 3. This would be their biggest margin of victory, it could be more. Henri denied by Weaver. And the chances keep on coming. Wiltor. Grimondi. Sylvain Wiltor. And the final whistle will come as blessed relief to those from Manchester. We arrive full of hope and will leave bedraggled and beaten. Especially hard for Paul Dickov as a former Arsenal man. And one that's given everything to the cause for City today. Very much a losing cause. Goal scorers today. Seems everyone just waiting for the whistle. Dixon. Henri. That confirms it. Arsenal winners with a five star, five goal performance. Arsenal five, Manchester City nil.
A real drubbing for Manchester City as the Gunners pressed home their numerical advantage in the second half. Although Arsenal made Highbury something of a fortress over the season, suffering just one home defeat, their indifferent away form and they had to settle for second place. Manchester United picked up the Premiership trophy. Manchester City struggled in their first season back in the top flight, in particular at Main Road, where they suffered 12 home defeats, the most in the Premiership. As a result, they were relegated.